Hey guys, Code of the Game here with another Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile update. Uh, I'm gonna do it off the tunes, considering I've got a couple of uh, a couple of the cards from Shining Victories, uh, Clash of Rebellion, and um, BOSH. I forget what that's called, but uh, but yeah, let's let's um, let's dive into this. Uh, it's my tune deck today that I'm gonna be uh, showing the update for. Okay, guys, so let's uh, let's get right into it. So the first card is one copy of Blue, uh, sorry, Red Eyes Tune Dragon. Um, so essentially, it cannot attack the turn it's summoned while it while I control the tune world. My opponent controls no tune monsters. It can attack directly, just like any other tune. Um. Anyway, its extra effect is once per turn, I can special summon one tune monster from my hand, except Red Eyes Tune Dragon, ignoring its summoning conditions. So I could have a let's say I have a, a tune ancient gear golem on my hand, and you know I wanted to special summon it. He's on the field. Main phase one, special summon tune ancient gear golem, and then that's its ability. Okay, guys. So that's what I would do. Um, that's probably um, that's the that's the, basically the reason I have one copy in here is because I don't I don't see any any point in having more than two. Okay, one. Okay. Next, I have two copies of tune cyber dragon. Essentially, it's the same thing. It um, except uh, when. Uh, when Toon World's destroyed, it can't be destroyed. Same with Red Eyes. Okay, guys? So it can attack directly while Toon World's on the field, and it gets to be special summoned if I control no monsters, but my opponent does control monsters, okay? Toon Buster Blader, I've got one copy. I don't see any point in having more than one copy. Um, the reason that is, is because it's a high level, and it's for dragons. So it's, you know... <clears throat> Its effect is the same as normal Buster Blader, plus it gets the tune effect with Tune Worlds on the field. It can attack directly, okay guys? Next I've got one copy of the Tune Ancient Gear Golem. Same thing, it's a tune version of Ancient Gear Golem. So it can attack directly, and if it attacks a, mos a monster in defense mode, it inflicts piercing damage, okay? Next is Tune Dark Magician Girl. Um, it's the same thing, except that um, it's the same thing. So, basically, any Dark Magician in any person's graveyard, she gains 300 attack, and she gets to attack directly, and she get, actually, she's the only tune that can attack the turn she's summoned, okay guys? Tune Mana Sorcerer, I've got one copy of him. I actually am probably going to look for another two copies, and uh, take out uh, the next card that I actually have in here. Um, but yeah, like, uh, when he attacks directly... Um, when he attacks my opponent's life points directly, when this card inflicts battle damage, I get to draw a card. Okay, so yeah, he's he's a he's draw power. Uh, Toon Cannon Soldier, same thing. He gets to attack directly, but when he's when Toon World's destroyed, he's destroyed, and he's um, and he and then you can tribute a monster, inflict 500 points to your opponent. Next, I've got two copies of Goblin Attack Force. Toon Goblin Attack Force, it's essentially the same as Toon Goblin Attack Force. When it attacks, it goes into defense. It attacks directly, but it can't stack the turn to summon. Okay, guys? And when Toon World is destroyed, it's destroyed. Next, I have three copies of the Toon Gemini Elf. She's actually very, very good. Um, 1900, and when uh, it can't attack the turn to summon, and if Toon World on the field is destroyed, destroy this card. Um... While I control Toon Monster, my opponent does controls no Toon Monsters. This card can attack my opponent directly. If the card, if this card inflicts, basically, if she, if she inflicts battle damage, she um, she discards a card from your opponent's hand. Okay, guys. Next, I've got a two, uh, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. It's basically just a Toon version of Blue Eyes. It has no other abilities. I got two copies of Toon Summon Skull. Okay, I'm not gonna put more than two in. I actually ran it at three, as well as the Blue Eyes. And that didn't work so well, guys. So I'm going to leave that at two. I run three copies of Toon Mermaid. Okay, so three copies of her. And um, the reason I run three copies is because she's such a low level. Special, special, special. And then go into the Winged Dragon of Ra. Okay, guys? So, like, there are some tunes that can only be, well, that can be normal summoned. But, um... Essentially, just I just try to special summon them. So, uh, next is the Winged Dragon of Raw, which you all know, essentially know what they d it does. And then I've got the Winged Dragon of Raw Sphere Mode, just to bring it out faster. Okay, guys? So that's my monsters. Next, we're going to move on to spell cards.
Okay. So next, I run three copies of Toon World. I do have an alternate art in there. Okay, guys. So I run three copies of Toon World. You pay a thousand life points to activate this card, and then when Toon World is on the field, you get to add to summon your monsters. I run three copies of Toon Table of Contents. Okay. And it lets me search out for a, tune, a card with Toon in its name. So I can even search out Toon World. I can search out anything with Toon in its name. Okay, guys. I can even search out like. Tune Mask or uh, Shadow Tune, right? So next, I got three Comic Can uh, equipped to an opponent's monster. It then becomes my monster, and uh, it gets to attack my opponent directly. Okay, guys. I've got two copies of Shadow Tune. Uh, if I control Tune World, um, I get to target a face-up monster. My opponent controls, and then I get up to inflict damage to my opponent equal to the attack of the face-up monster. Okay. Then I run two copies of Toon Rollback. Uh, target one Toon Monster. I I control. It can make a second attack during each battle phase. Okay. And then Mount of the Bound Creator. That's ba essentially just for my God card. And then I have one copy of MST. Okay, guys. Next, my traps. Okay, so I have three Toon Masks. They're actually very good. Um, it specifies rank and level. So, when my opponent summons a special summons a monster, um, if I control Toon World, I can target one face-up monster. My opponent controls special summon one Toon monster from my deck, hand or deck, who's um, basically to its level or rank. I run two Toon Briefcases, and when my opponent uh, summons a monster... While I control a Toon Monster, I can shuffle it back into the deck. Then I run one Bottomless Trap Hole and one Call the Haunted. Okay, guys? That's been my uh, my Toon Deck update. And I'll see you guys next time with another gameplay video, game review, or deck profile. See you guys later. Bye-bye.